So when you arrive at Greer Sanctuary and you come in the door this way. Hello. Get you greeted sir? by this friendly fella. <laughs> yes. And so when we first came in before, uh, they bring you over to this chair here and this desk and they give you a nice drink and a wet towel to cool off while you check in. So quite professional. They grab your bags, take them to your room. So this is the main lobby area. Then they take you to your rooms, either over here. We're staying here, which is room 133. So just arrived at Greer Santrian here in Sanua. We're in room 133, which is a poolside room, but it's sort of in the garden area back from the front. Um, they told us they upgraded us to this room, which is a poolside suite, apparently. So there's a nice big queen-size bed here. Painting, uh, big screen TV here for you. Uh, mind the mess, we've got our stuff spread out, but hey, that's what happens when you go on holiday, isn't it? So you get coffee, tea. Apparently there's a mini bar. Let's take a look, see what's in it. So in the mini bar, we've got some beers and some sparkling waters, but you get the tea and coffee for free. And you get some still water that's in the bathroom for free. So this came with breakfast included um, it was around 250 Australian dollars a night but it looks very comfortable okay so this is the bathroom here at the hotel so standard toilet towels but really big shower here big glass mirrored one so if I come this way got your basin your waters your mirror hey so yeah, quite impressive room. Um, the property itself outside looks amazing. So you've got a safe here, you've got robes, you've got some slippers. Take you for a bit of a tour later outside at the, uh, at the grounds with the pools because this place goes onto the beach, obviously. So I've got a couple of umbrellas and a laundry bag. I'm assuming the laundry would be pretty expensive here. So, but if you're in Sanui, you just go out onto Dunnetemble and go and take it to a laundry out there so we're looking at for a shirt dollar 80 pair of pants two dollars pair of undies dollar 20 bikini one dollar so yeah so you can probably get like a kilo done for about four dollars out on the street <laughs> I better go back to our room and wake back up because it's breakfast time here. So breakfast is included in the price. So it's a full buffet breakfast. Their restaurant sits right on the beach path here at Sanua. So we're now heading for breakfast here at Greer Santrian. You've got to come down to the beach area because the property actually nearly stretches all the way from the main street to the beach in between Danu Tamblingen and this area here. So we've got a fantastic looking pool here. Breakfast is served on the other side of the pool in their restaurant. That's open to anyone. Anyone can come and eat here during the day. Got a fantastic looking beach area out here, as you can see. Plenty of sun lounges, deck chairs, things like that. I'm going to get myself a seat in there this afternoon, I think, and uh, get a beer in the bar. Okay, let's go for breakfast. So it starts when we have an egg station over here. A 
plenty of juices, cereals, milks. Say good morning, it's breakfast time. Cold meats, yogurts, fruits, plenty of fruits, dragon fruit. Love the color of the dragon fruit. What else have we got? Sweet and sour fish, chicken kung pao, vegetable cap chai. Let's have a look. Looks nice. Kung pao chicken, yum. Ah, got the traditional bacon and sausages that you find. Fried potato and baked beans. Beautiful. Got a range of pastries, donuts, toasts, jams, and a fantastic view outside. Let's go back and find our seat where the lady poured us a nice looking coffee. So I started off and did a bowl of birch and muesli, so did Beck. Uh, she's now got some fruits and pastries where I've now gone for the main meals here. I've got some kung pao chicken, sweet and sour fish, I've got some cap chai, some nazi goreng, chicken sausage, some bacon, coffee, mango juice, all while sitting here looking at this amazing view this morning. You'll find here at Greer that they have uh, a few different areas with some things on. This is like a, I guess, an activity area or a kids area. You can play ping pong. There's a big TV set up there where you can watch movies. Apparently, you can also play chess and dart if you request every day. So that's also on. Definitely nice looking TV area over here where you can sit. Over the other side there, they've got a day spa. At the moment, they've also got a gallery here that's got an art display on at present. So this is pretty cool, actually. A few different art pieces on the wall. I must admit I like their modernist ones over there. They look cool. Biofeel Her by David Hopkins, Hopkins and Sava Istanbul. Okay. More artwork out here. So lots of rooms uh, varies from two story to three story in different areas of the hotel. It's usually a guy there selling things during the day. Hello. And down to the main area here. So this is a spa as well. There's a gym over there. Just a small one, but I say it's got treadmill, exercise bike. It's got some weights. It's called. Pool area is quite stunning over here. So as you can tell, this joint is huge. There's plenty of rooms, suites, villas, chipmunks, squirrels. Uh, this is our first time staying here at Greer Centurion. We've actually had drinks here before on the beach a few times and walked through here because it makes a handy shortcut from Jalandanu Tamblingen to the beach. Here's the third pool. 
So yeah, there's three big pool areas here. Obviously this is the smallest one. One near our room's a fair size, and then there's one right on the beach too with a pool bar, so which we hope to explore later on in the day. So we thought for our last afternoon here at Greer that we'd come down to the pool bar and get ourselves some drinks. It's a nice afternoon here. Sun is setting in the distance, but beers are happening over there. Rebecca's made a new friend talking to a girl from Ireland that we just met, so we're enjoying some bintangs at the bar. Okay, so we're just checked out of uh, Greer Santry, and after staying there for three nights at this stage, uh, we thought we'd just check in and let everyone know what our thoughts were on our stay there, uh, since it's fresh in our mind, and we've just moved down south, down to Prama, so look... We enjoyed our stay at Greer. Um, but Greer's pretty expensive when you break it down. You know, two hundred and fifty dollars probably the cheapest you're going to get a room there, and it goes up from there. So, I guess you really got to ask yourself what facilities you're going to use there, and is it worth that money for you to stay on the beach? We were upgraded to a deluxe poolside. I think it was from a yeah. garden which we originally um, booked. So it'd be interesting to see sort of what the difference was we we faced a brick wall and the pool was sort of to the right a little bit of our room so it was it was room we've stayed in better places cheaper we've stayed in worse places for the same money um when you realistically look at it with what you're paying in melbourne it was lovely compared to melbourne but but yeah as if <laughs> I want to say you've got to think about what you're going to use at Greer. The room itself is nothing special. Like And like Beck said, we've stayed in places here. For example, I've stayed at, we stayed at a place called Arena once uh, on the bypass road, $50 a night. I would say the room, the actual room inside the room was probably better than it yeah. was yeah. at Greer. But what you've got to take into consideration, I guess, with Greer is how much are you going to use the facilities there? Are you going to spend all day in their pools? Are you going to spend all day on the beach out the front on their sun lounges? Um, I think if you're not going to use them facilities a lot, then it's probably not worth the money for you mm. to actually stay there because you can go down the beach here and you can hire a sunbed for, you know, five dollars, five dollars a day and lay on it anywhere. So if you're not likely to spend all your day in the pool there, all your day on the sun lounges, using the gym, maybe using the the day spa <laughs> there, things like that, I don't think it's worth the money you pay for it. Mm. I would agree. <laughs> so, so yeah. So if you want to come on. The vacation vacation where you just stay at your resort like Greer. Read your book. Yep. Read your book, you know, drink from the bar there, eat there, do all that there. Look, it's definitely worth yep. your it money. Would be, it would be worth the money then, yeah. yeah. The ease of it, if you if you only had two weeks holiday per year and you came over and you stayed there, you ate there, you had breakfast, you did everything, it, it would be worth it. Yeah. The ease of it is worth it. But like we've said, we've stayed in $50 places a night here in Samoa. Not on the beach, but you can easily just walk over to the beach. Like we said, hire a sun lounger. Fifty dollar places still have a pool. You know, you can wander up the street, get your food. You know, for fifty for fifty dollars a night compared to two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars a night. So Greer is all about its location on the beach. It's all about the three swimming pools are there, the bars that are there, and the restaurant that's there. Mm. Yep. So yeah, so you need to that's your choice if you want to stay at Greer. Overall, the stay was good, but like I said, you need to justify the cost by using the facilities that are there all the time. We also spoke to a young lady who was over here holidaying on her own um, in Bali, and she said she chose the Gria um, for the safety. She knew the brand, or the brand was highly recommended on different pages and things like that, so she knew she would be safe there, that there was a, 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 level, a standard, I suppose, that she was comfortable with, and she knew she would have to pay that. So. That's also, I suppose, something maybe that solo uh, female travellers maybe need to consider when they come to Bali as well. Anyway, uh, that's our wrap on Greer. Stay tuned for a, uh, a talk up on Prama in a few days. After we've spent a few days there, we'll let you know what we think of that. Anyway, for those who don't know us, we're Mark and Beck, and we're the admins of the week, of the Things to Do in Sanua <laughs> Facebook group yeah. and website. So. 
Bye for now. Bye.